Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. I have a moderate sized haul from Flower Beauty. I have eyeshadow palette. It's a new one. And then I have new liquid lipsticks. Hang on, liquid lipsticks. Few, I think I have four shades, three or four shades. And then I have a face compact, two face compacts. These are just called the pyramids and you know why. And then these are called, these are called blush bomb. These are just liquid blushes. So I got four items they have at least one in each so let's get started with the eyeshadow palette i have i love the eyeshadow look i have on today this is from all the eyeshadows that i have on today is from lethal cosmetics i've had this eye look for five to six hours now and look at that no creasing oh <laughs> before i say no creasing i had i did not have any eye primer on lethal cosmetics eyeshadows are so amazing just incredible guys without primer five hours look at that no creasing and look at how vibrant the colors are on my eyes in fact i had a uh, sunscreen on before applying but anyways my battery is only has 20 percent, so i need to film this quickly so 19 dollars is this palette this is called a jungle lights palette and you get six eyeshadows as you can see let me quickly swatch all of them the top row is more of a warm toned row, gold, and then green, and then a rosy copper. They're all very pretty and very foiled as you can see. Very pretty, very foiled. Let's do the next row. The next row, um, only these two are actually cool toned. This one is kind of like a white gold. It looks white in the pan, but the the color of the glitter is actually yellow. So it's like a, yeah, very pretty. That is a very, very, very pretty kind of a mauve, cool tone, mauve, silvery. What is going on? Yes, that's better, I think. So yeah, those are the six shades you get. All of them are metallic, as you can see, and they're all foiled. Just to give you guys like a comparison of how amazingly foiled these are let me quickly swatch the Tarte chrome paint pots this is in the shade park ave princess this is the one i always pull out for to show how incredible Tarte chrome paint pots are they the finish is in like crazy look at that look at that finish very very pretty let me just swatch it here so you can see how foiled the this is and these are very much in the same page don't you guys think they're all equally foiled? They're all on the same level. So just to give you guys an idea of how crazy foiled all the eyeshadows in the Jungle Lights palettes are, very, very pretty, guys. And uh, the palette is cruelty-free and it is made in Taiwan. I don't know if this is limited edition or not, sorry. Now, maybe I'll do the lip swatches at the end. Oh, no, I'll do it now. Hang on. Let's do the lip swatch now. I, I forgot I had to do lip swatch and I just put on a statement lipstick to match my eyeshadow. That The one I have is from Fenty Beauty. I don't know what it's called. It's one of the, the matte Moselle lipstick. You'll see it down below in the description box. Okay, let's start with the very, very bold color. This is called Melon Pop. I contemplated, thought about it for a year before buying this shade. Hang on. This is a serious, look at that, how beautiful and vibrant. It's like a hibiscus red. It's like a watermelon color. But sometimes the hibiscus red, watermelon red, these can just not be the right shade for, for my skin tone. And my skin, look at that, look at how <laughs> it's popping. But it does not dry down and look like this. It definitely dries down to a reddish coral. Hang on. Let me just do this quickly, guys. Because I do not want camera to get switched off. Okay, that is a very, very bad swatch. But you can see how it looks on my skin tone. When it, you apply it wet, it looks very, very bright. But it's not. It actually dries down. You can see as it dries down, it kind of turns a little, little bit darker and reddish. You'd probably see that at the, at the end of the video. And, um, oh wait, I took it off. It is not streaky. It's actually fully opaque. It goes on really, really well. 
and then where's the next color this is called gin wait spice ginger spice ginger is a beautiful stunning look at that such a beautiful color it's like a cinnamon coral shade guys it's very pretty i actually swatched it here and just i haven't dipped it again and look at how much product is still left here it has something on my teeth i have still oh god more coming on look at how much i have left and also enough to get on my teeth <laughs> again very very pretty it's, it is kind of like a burnt orange color but not so much it kind of has this cinnamony coral tone to it it has a coral tone to it i feel it's not it's not a straight up orange color i'm sorry something the lights are just playing tricks today it's just not showing up properly sorry about that i don't know how this video is turning out as well so ginger crush or crushed ginger very 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 pretty absolutely dark skin friendly do not need and it does dry down you'd see at the end of the video how it dries down do you see it it dries down as it dries down it's definitely kind of darker and kind of toned down and then i have two um darker shade sorry uh nude shades hang on sorry about that this table is packed guys this is just packed with stuff i just review stuff and just leave it right here <laughs> i don't put it back in my wherever i organize my makeup it just stays here i'm just a little lazy like that so if i'm missing some makeup i come straight here and it would it's it's always here if i'm missing some makeup it's here so that is in the shade uh rosewood rosewood these two are kind of medium dark shades but uh i feel if you are slightly darker than me you would definitely need a lip liner for this shade because it's a little just on the just borderline light you know what i mean my for me just i barely skim through it so if it's wet like this still not dried kind of um uh, stage I it appears like I need a lip lip liner but once it dries down it actually dries down it doesn't look so harsh on my skin tone it actually I don't need a lip liner at least I have the confidence to wear this shade of nude color without a lip liner I can definitely wear it without a lip liner so yeah so that is a uh, rosewood which is like a peach peach color peachy nude like a medium dark color which actually works out like a nude on dark skin for me so finally this is a very comfortable nude shade i feel this is called soft berry soft berry is a pink as you can see this is uh, peach rosewood is peach and soft berry is pretty pink right It's not bad i want to finish the swatch quickly guys i do not want my camera to get just shut off not when i'm in the middle of filming that is not bad right so this is definitely more of a easier color to wear on my skin tone even when it's like not completely dried down it doesn't look very harsh against my skin tone i feel it's it's pretty it's quite beautiful so yeah, those are the four shades that I picked up. And I also have, I let me quickly swatch the other three shades I already had in my collection. Let, just to give you guys like, you know, just a swatch of all the liquid lipsticks from Flower Beauty. The, now this is Carlet Letter, which is just a red color. It's a very pretty blue toned red. Again, just would you just look at the swatches, guys? They are all consistent across the board. And then this is Merlot Kiss again a very purpley berry this is actually a coral this is a strong coral color mellow sorry what is this melon pop is a strong coral color and this is a um purple berry shade and finally i have a mauve gray kind of uh, nude this is called dark and stormy i never thought this would be my most used color from hang on what is going on this is not good 
let me swatch it here. I never thought Dark and Stormy would be my most used color, but it is. This is the shade I've used the most from Flower Beauty. Anytime I need like a nude, a darker nude, I just, hang on, I look, it felt like a sneeze coming on, but no. <laughs> but yes, so those are the li liquid lipsticks. So let's talk about the blush bombs. The blush bombs, all of them, well, um, this is $19 made in Taiwan. This is nine or ten dollars made in usa and these are nine or ten dollars as well guys most of them are like nine and ten dollars this is made in italy and these are called the blush bombs it came like a packaging like this look at this boom crash kind of a you know cartoonized thing going on and these are has a little nozzle can you see it can you see it okay let me just quickly i need my other arm so let's get rid of the watch so let me show you the consistency just uh, consistency is not too runny not too uh not like a cream not like a paste uh but it's kind of like a paste i guess it's very easy guys let me just show it to you very very dark skin friendly now the instructions at the back of the box it says um here it says dab on the apples of the cheeks and blend Again, this is one of the most easily, just an easy product, guys. Look at how easy it is. So, so incredibly easy. Just a disclaimer before I review this uh, cream product is because it's important that I tell you guys because there's a very, very important aspect on which I won't be able to talk on when it comes to cream or liquid products. That is that I do not wear a makeup base, like a foundation or a concealer or anything of that sort. I just use sunscreen, mix it with a little bit of a liquid highlighter for a little bit of glow and set it with powder and then put highlight on blush and that is it. So when the, um, the con of using, sometimes using a cream or liquid product as a highlighter or blush is that it may lift or it kind of ruins the makeup base that you apply underneath it, which I won't be able to review or talk on because I do not use a product. So there's nothing to lift off or there's nothing to clump or anything of that sort for me because there's nothing to lift off. There's only moisturizer, which is already sunk into my skin so it's incre it's it's incredibly easy for me to use cream products and liquid products of whether it's highlighter or blush or whatever on my skin because i do not use a makeup base there's no complication when it comes to that for me so that's just something i wanted to put out because i won't be able to review the cream liquid blush on that aspect yes that said look at how it gives a stunning flushed look so this is the shade melon pop i have to say they do not have a lot of colors for dark skin i picked out this shade cinnamon i had my doubts but my doubts were confirmed this just looks like my skin tone guys oh look at that it just covered my scar but literally my skin tone this is just my skin with a little bit of red in it just a little bit of hint of red which kind of gives a very 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 almost non-existent peachy kind of a look but that's only when you really really peer into the mirror and just keep looking at my cheeks otherwise if you just look at my face just like that when i use this it's just non-existent so i do not recommend the shade cinnamon for if you have dark skin medium uh tan skin maybe it might work so medium skin and lighter this would look very pretty like a peachy blush but otherwise for dark skin i do not recommend this shade this is just pretty much non-existent but otherwise look at that this melon shade looks so beautiful so blended very very pretty very easy to use it also lasts something to compare these with is the nas liquid blushes they those are 30 dollars each those are very very easy to use as well so incredibly easy to blend just like piece of cake right anybody can use those and this but the biggest problem with the nas liquid blushes even the uh, uh vibrant shades like the coral shade there is a coral shade in the nas liquid blush lineup they only have three or four two or three shades i think those just don't last on my skin they just you apply it it looks very pretty and then poof it just disappears within like an hour or so because that's that's something that i did not like that about 
the NARS liquid blushes, but they were very, very easy to apply. So there's that. Finally, finally, hopefully, I'm just praying my camera doesn't turn off. We have two of these. These are called the pyramid. I initially thought that the this is called the rose glow and this is called the peach glow. I thought that the rose glow was for dark skin and uh, deep dark and then I thought the peach glow was for light skin medium and light skin but I'm wrong both of them both of these pyramids can be used by everybody across the board even from the paler skin I think if you have really really pale skin you will have to use this only as blushes but everybody else I think they can find a balance between whether you want to use this as a highlighter or blush and in fact as your skin tone gets darker if you have a darker skin tone you sky is the limit with this because you can there are so many shades so you can use all of the light colors as highlighters and all the dark colors as blushes they do work the dark colors are really dark and rosy looking so both compacts can be used by everybody it's just this is a cool toned option and the peach glow is a warm toned option that's pretty much it i'm so happy that this is the way that they designed it and the way it came out it's very very dark skin friendly and uh this retails for nine or ten dollars i'm not sure and made in taiwan and it says um soft shimmering finish a mosaic of pigmented perfection curated shades that work together to create a radiant flush of color so it's kind of like a they don't really tell you it's a blush but it's kind of leaning towards the marketing looks like it's a blush so i'm just swatching each color here and then i'll just give it a big swirl and show you how it looks so this is the a very, very frosty light pink shade. I'm just watching the rose uh, glow palette first. And then this is the rose gold color. Yeah, this is the rose gold color. I'm going to swatch the rose gold color. No chunky glitter whatsoever. Very pretty. And then, so this, this uh, compact has four shades. So these are the two light shades. And then the other two shades are actually blush colors on me, even on my skin and tint tone. Well, what am I trying to say? I'm sorry that got a little adulterated with the other color, with this color. But look at that. It pops. It's so beautiful. It's a dark, dark color. And then let me swatch this very cool toned rose shade. It's like a berry shade. Look at that. These two colors are dark for my skin tone to be used as blushes. I would suggest to use like a small uh, denser brush. Um, this is the setting brush from Real Techniques. I use this to pick up colors on the blush side and then colors on the uh, lighter side. Let's give this one big swirl. Let me show it to you how it looks. The end result is a frosty pink finish. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what's going on with my, I need to investigate. I'm sorry. It's just like a very frosty rose gold color, guys. That's, that's a finish. That's the end result. I don't know what's going on. This is just like flashing and going back, flashing and going back. I'm sorry about that. So next is the peach glow. Let's do this quickly. Now the peach glow actually has four shades as well but there's only one shade that is really dark enough on my skin tone to be used as a highlighter so the first shade in the peach glow is a peachy champagne color as you can see and then next is kind of a pink color which is kind of but it's a warm pink. I don't know if you can see the pink tone there. I'm not sure what is going on. I don't know if you can see the pink tone. I don't think you can. Okay. Anyways, let's move on. And then this is kind of like a cool toned rosy shade. I don't know how these swatches are coming through guys I am so sorry this is going this is driving me crazy and then let's do the final one because then we will be done this is incredibly dark color guys look at that shade I don't know if you can see it let me swatch this here there you go 
that is a darker shade in the um, peach glow palette which actually looks very pretty on me on dark skin it really really you you'd see that red tone coming through it's intense and very pretty so that is a dark uh, sh darker shade in the peach glow palette I'm going to give it a big swirl and maybe show it to you here yeah oh my god I am so sorry what is going on yes so, so going out of focus and this is awful there you go I don't know can you see it yes this is like a very oh god this is so bad what is going on oh <laughs> This has become like a ghost movie. I'm so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I look like a ghost for all of a sudden. Let me do it quickly once again. And that's it. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry about it. So, guys, thankfully, we have come to the end of this video. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I need to investigate. Excuse me for that just few seconds of ghost movie <laughs> going on here. I just everything blurred out and anyways i uh, hope you guys found this video useful hope there was so many swatches i loved everything except the cinnamon blush which is just of no use to me maybe i could just use this as a base in the top of my cheekbones and apply a very frosted highlighter that would prevent the white cast I, I i guess that's something that i may use this for or just also just apply it as a extremely natural blush so that would work too so i guess that's it you guys hope you guys found this video useful informative hope this video helped you make a decision as to what you like i love all oh hang on let me show you the liquid lipsticks look at that they all dried on so so well they all look pretty dark don't you guys think and that is the eyeshadow palette $19 $9 and this is again $9 look at the flushed look and that is that oh god again it's acting up I'm sorry about that I am so sorry about that I don't know what the hell is going on okay guys that's it I will see you guys very soon bye bye